Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing an empties video and I just wanted to do an empties video because I like to watch these and I just feel like it kind of gives you um, an idea of what kind of products I don't like and what kind of products I do like or whatnot. So let's just get right into the video. Oh, also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a big thumbs up on this video. Uh, so the first product that I have here is the um, Cantu Leave-In Conditioner Cream. And I hope you guys can see that. I'm kind of holding it for a while, but um, this is my all-time favorite leave-in conditioner. Um, I always gravitate towards this leave-in conditioner. Um, I remember I I've been using this since I was tra I transitioned. And um, I tried to use a new product. I used the Shea Moisture one, the Shea Moisture Jamaica Black Castor Oil Leave-In Conditioner. And I used that when I first um, uh, became natural. And then um, I wanted to see if this would work on my ha my natural hair because I knew it worked on my transitioning hair. And it does work. My hair loves this stuff. I um, I would recommend trying it out. If you don't like it, you know, give it to me. I mean, <laughs> that's the only thing I can say, but my hair loves this stuff. I highly recommend it. Go try it out for yourself. So well, the next thing I have is the Eden Body Works All Natural Deep Conditioner. Deep Conditioner? <laughs> Why did I say it like that? But the Eden Body Works All Natural Deep Conditioner. Um, so this empties here is my second time ever trying this product. The first time, um, my hair did like it. It made my hair very soft. Um, it kind of smells like, um, like very fresh and like sea salt, I would say. Yeah, it smells like sea salt. And, um, if you don't like that, then I wouldn't suggest it because it's very, very strong. Um, but it does keep my hair very, very soft. I would purchase this again. Um, it was only probably like six or seven dollars, so... A good one. Uh, this is a good buy if you don't want to spend so much money and yeah <laughs> the next product I have is this Af African Pride um, Miracle Oil and I have talked about this in a video before I think it was in a haul video um, I use this to when I do my uh, twists and when I do my braids and all that stuff just to lock in the moisture because I do the LOC method when I do do when I do do when I do um, twist outs and braid outs so um, I like this oil because it does it feels like my hair is very moisturized even then the next couple of days when I put my hands in my hair I could still feel like there's like just brand new oil that I just put in my hair so I do love this I highly recommend this go try it out for yourself the uh, next thing I do have now is the Cantu Shea Butter Twist and Lock Gel. So I mainly got this um, to do braid outs and twist outs because obviously it's a twist and lock gel. Um, when I first seen this product, I seen the word gel and I wasn't too sure that I wanted to use it on my twist outs and braid outs. But um, when I looked at the consistency of the product, it wasn't very like gel-like. It was kind of creamy. So I just decided to try it out. And it does smell very coconutty. I think like artificial coconut. Um, but yeah, um, it wasn't like the best thing for my twist outs or my braid outs, I don't think. I mean, I just feel like it was a, a, a styling product. Um, would I purchase it again? I'm not sure. Uh, not that I would not like I'm not saying I wouldn't uh, if I For some reason I had like the urge to pick this up then I would it was only $7.99 So yeah, the next thing I have is a chapstick and this is the Nivea kiss of moisture chapstick And I told you guys about this Nivea brand chapstick already it is life and I like to get down to the core of this chapstick because this chapstick is like four dollars and I just, oh my god, I love this chapstick, especially in the winter my, when my lips are so dry. This is the best chapstick ever. Go and buy it. Go buy it. Try it and you'll understand. Next thing I have are these Equate Beauty Nighttime Smoothing Makeup Removing Wipes. Um, I just, I kind of feel like makeup removing wipes are makeup removing wipes. Um, 
I know a lot of people don't like some types of makeup removing wipes because it kind of irritates their eyes a little bit. Um, with this, I will say that the the um, wipes are very thick and they are very soft. So when you take off your makeup, um, it feels very nice on your skin. But I wouldn't recommend them to use on your eyes because when you like try to um, when you try to like take off your mascara or your eyeliner or something like that, um, it gets this like very, I don't know how you call it, but it does, it's not like a burning, but it's like not comfortable for your eyes and it kind of like makes you want to cry. So <laughs> that sounds very dangerous, but it doesn't really, it didn't bother me that much because I don't know, I'm, that's just me. But. I wouldn't recommend them for your eyes, but for your face, they're fine. They didn't break me out or nothing like that. Um, would I purchase them again? Probably not because I want to try different um, makeup wipes. And I kind of want to try micellar water. So if you have tried micellar water, any kind, let me know which ones you guys like down below. The next thing I have here is the LA Girl, LA Girl Pro Setting Spray. Um, this is like the matte finish one and this one that I have here was $4.99 and um, I, I did repurchase this product. I have one already in my makeup bag. Um, I feel like this product, I've been using it for a while so um, I feel like this product would be good for the days when it's really hot like for summer. At least for me because I, I do have combination skin but I feel like mostly on the dry side so since this is a matte finish it kind of just dries my face a little bit too much when I put too much um but when it's like sunny and it's hot and you know obviously you sweat a little bit um it's perfect for that it does keep you matte I'll say that um at least for me I don't know about really oily skin but this helps for me um, I wouldn't recommend it for winter though because it just, it doesn't really work, um, for dry skin. So, yeah. The next things that I have, hair, skin, and nails, gummy vitamins. And you guys, I finished this so fast. I feel like, um, it is a, it says it on here, I think it's a... Uh, a little bit over a month worth supply um, so you're supposed to take four, uh, two vitamin two gummies a day um, and there's 90 gummies so a little bit over a month um, I do like these because they aren't like pills and they're kind of like things that I kind of look forward to to taking I, these gummies are not expensive they're like maybe five or six dollars um, I do want to go and pick these up. I really have to. I feel like they do help my um, nails. I can very, I can see that um, right away. My nails start growing fast with these. And um, my hair, I'm not too sure about, but I mean, it's some sort of vitamin. I feel like it, it's better to take some sort of vitamin than no vitamin at all. But yeah, I would recommend these, and especially if you are not of the person who doesn't like to take pills. These are very good uh, and affordable. And then I, the next thing I have are these Schnick Hydro, uh, Hydro Silk, uh, what is it called? Uh, razors. <laughs> so the first time I tried these razors, my mom had a sample. I had no idea where she got the sample, a sample razor. But she had a sample and I used the sample. I'm like, what is what kind of razor is this? It made my leg my legs feel so smooth. I had no cuts, nothing hurt. Like it was so amazing. So I'm like, I have to go pick this up. So I picked this up. Um and it lasts like I don't even know. Like I use one razor more than five times, I'm telling you. Like more than I have no idea how many times, but more than five times probably. Um and this pack that I bought came with four razors, but these razors, I highly recommend them if you are a person who shaves. You go buy, purchase these. They are a little bit pricey. I want to say maybe eight or nine, maybe even ten dollars. I don't even know. But for me, that's pricey because it's just razors. You go to like the dollar store and get razors. But 
if you want no cuts in your legs, get these razors because I highly recommend them and they're really good. There's one more thing that I had um, that was an empty, but my mom threw it away. So I don't have it to show you guys, but maybe I'll insert a picture of what I'm talking about. It is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash, and it's the original one. I know that I, I can't, I don't know if you guys can see this, but... Um, yeah, it's a little blurry, but it, it's this wash, and they have like a, a pomegranate one, but I don't like the scented one. I just like the original. This acne wash is my lifesaver. Whenever I have a pimple and I wash my face, the next day it's, very, it's smaller, and then I, when I do it again, it's it's gone. Like, this is a masterpiece. I love that, that um, soap. I've been using it since I was in high school, and I'm in college now. So, yes, I highly recommend that. Go get it. Um, but just a little background, I didn't have acne, I've never really had acne problems, so I would just get sporadic pimples, so maybe it won't work for cystic acne, but, um, if you do get, um, if you do get sporadic pimples, then it might work for you, so go ahead and try that out, and that's all for today's video, that's all the, uh, empties that I have, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one, bye!